Good morning, YouTube. Ugly Prepper. Hope everyone's doing great today. Um, hope everyone's having a blessed day. We're in the shop here today. Um, supposed to rain. Uh, hasn't yet, but it is clouded up and really looking rainy outside. So we're in the shop here today. Thought I'd make a quick video uh, about barter items. Uh, everybody's barter items will be different. I hope y'all can hear me, okay? Everybody's barter items will be different. Uh, you know, so anyway, I thought we would get into it. But first, I have a little challenge. Because I found some things I can give away that didn't cost me a dime. And, uh, you know, you go through your junk drawer sometimes and you find, why have I got so many of this one item? And would that item be something, hey, you know, we could throw that in a border bag and give it to somebody, you know, if it's useful. I get these, um, these little notepads. The charity I give to uh, is St. Jude Children's Hospital. I don't know if you can see all that. Uh, but anyway, I've got hundreds of these things. They, they send them back after you donate. They send you address labels and all these uh, little notepads. Well, I noticed uh, going through my junk drawer and stuff, I have, I've probably got 50 of these doggone things in yonder. So, uh, you know, paper is something that could be used for barter. Uh, and this didn't cost me a dime, y'all. This is something that's just uh, stacked up in the house. And, uh, you know, I use one or two, but see, this one here is Salvation Army. But whatever. Um, so this is something you could put in a, bar in a barter bag. You could make a individual barter kits. You know, paper is useful. Uh, you can record information on it. And you can always use it to start a fire. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking about what my barter or items are and why. Uh, let's see here. A lot of y'all are going to have major problems with this one, but uh, this is why. This is a specific barter item for me, and that's coffee. I do not drink coffee. I love the way coffee smells, but I, I don't care how much whipped cream you put in it. I cannot drink coffee. Don't I don't like it. Give me a hot chocolate or something else. Uh, so my barter, one of my main barter items is coffee. Because so many people like it. Or so many people uh, have to have it, you know. So uh, one of my barter items is coffee. Now this is another barter item for us in the south that have to have our sweet tea you know uh we have to have sweet tea if you're down here in the south you're probably used to having sweet tea or iced tea or whatever you want to call it uh this particular brand i buy for my barter because i don't like this brand it's a great brand it's made in the united states it's made right here in birmingham or moody alabama but it's bitter to me i don't like bitter tea I'm a Louisiana man. That's just so. When I buy my tea, I buy Louisiana, and I'll buy a box of Red Diamond for barter items. Um, I don't know how long this will keep, but I, I believe as long as it's sealed, it would keep for at least four or five years. But uh, you know, I've got a vacuum sealer. I could always, if I go to start making my kits, I could break down and put. Uh, you know, two or three of these in a barter kit and just vacuum seal them, you know. So there's a there's an idea for barter. And y'all, I don't like masks. I don't wear masks. But people do. Some people do. Uh, you can buy super cheap. This is a 10-pack. Uh, and these are non-medical uh, dis disposable face masks. Cheap barter item for those who want masks. Okay. Uh, another item here. Cheap fishing line. Or as a matter of fact, 
all these can go in the same category. Cheap cordage, okay? The, uh, Omniflex makes pretty cheap fishing line. Uh, I'm a bass fisherman, and, you know, I buy the, the Berkeley Big Game or, you know, something a little higher test than this stuff here. But, uh, you know, this comes with, like, 50-pound test. You could put a ridge line up with that. I think that's a little over a dollar at Walmart, maybe two dollars by now. This, this is what they call masonry strain. I bought this for a dollar at Walmart. Okay, it may not be very strong, but there's 230 feet of it for a dollar. You're telling me you couldn't double that up or triple that up and put up a ridge line for your shelter with this? You bet you, but you can, okay? Some other sort of cheap nylon rope I found on sale for, you know, very cheap. Uh, so, you know, cheap cordage is another idea. What do I do with my paper? There's my papers over here. All right, let's see. You know, some people overlook it, but thread. You know, you can buy cheap thread. Uh, you know, you can buy it for... Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing it's uh, about a dollar a spool, maybe less. But thread, you know, people need to fix, patch up their clothes and SHTF. You can buy a bunch of thread. That would be something you could put in your barter kit. Okay. Another little thing is super cheap knives. This is a little cheapy knife. I gave a dollar for it. It's a little lock blade, and it's a cheapy knife, but uh, it might work. It might just, you know, fit the bill there if you're in a pinch. Cheap knives. I give a dollar for these each, dollar each, okay? You could stack these things. Everybody has seen these. The little cheap uh, 97 cent emergency ponchos. Great barter item. Um, so stack up a bunch of these. Or just, you know, every time you go to the store, buy one. And before you know it, within, you know, four or five months, you'll have a good little stack of them. Excellent little barter item there. You can buy this stuff here. This is a seven mil plastic drop cloths. You can make shelters out of these. You can cut these and make, uh, pon you know, extra large ponchos out of them. Or you can shelter in place in your home uh, with some duct tape and, and, you know, tape up your windows or, you know, whatever you need to, to do with it. It's a multi-use item. So try to stick with multi-use items when you're talking about barter stuff. Speaking of duct tape... We have cheap duct tape. Um, this is cheap duct tape. This is what I consider to be cheap duct tape. And when you can buy it in the value pack like this, you know, you can you can actually get a better deal the more rolls you buy. Let me see. Okay, this is what I buy for me, you know. I buy for my house, we get the Gorilla Tape. We get the good stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, the duct tape, especially when you can find it in these value packs, or the, they'll have some in Mega Rolls, or even if you want to go cheaper than this, you know, you can. Uh, because you're not depending on it. You're being a you know, a follower of Jesus and helping people out or, or uh, you know, um, you know, some people may need some way to patch a tent or whatever. Duct tape's a wonderful thing for that. Okay, now this is, uh, again, this is the expensive stuff, but you can buy super cheap super glue. Uh, don't, you know, buy this for yourself. I don't have any of the cheap super glue I bought here with me, I don't think. But this is a reminder for me to tell you, buy some cheap super glue. Another little great item. They're small. They'll fit in a barter kit. Okay. 
course everybody knows what this is you can always buy some of these when you're buying your uh where is it at when you're buying your little you know they're right there in the same department just buy one of each every time you go to the store you'll have some little barter items hope this is helping somebody you know you don't always have to you know everybody says you know alcohol and tobacco is the best things you know yeah but uh I don't want to uh, I don't want to influence somebody's life in that particular way you know uh, I've got a piece of paper here with some notes I wrote down uh, cheap paper maps people aren't going people's uh, cell phones are going to die they ain't going to have their GPS you can go a lot of times you can go to the uh, rest stops and a lot of, some rest stops actually give maps away. I don't know if they're going to like you going in there and grabbing a handful of them. But uh, cheap paper maps would be something that would be good. You know, instead of your standard big lighters, which are good for preppers and, you know, the like, find some cheap lighters. Buy a big pack of the cheap, cheap, cheapy lighters. Those would make good barter items. Um... Cheap trash bags, again, that goes in the ponchos or shelters, multi-use items. Um, what I put in my little packs, uh, I have some of the small Gideon Bibles with the Proverbs and Psalms in them. Um, you know, people are going to need hope. Just an idea, y'all. Um, pencils. Uh, like number two pencils you can buy pencils pretty cheap uh cheap ink pens i would just assume go with pencils if you ask me uh uh cheap fishing supplies i've already kind of covered that you know with cheap cheap fishing line cheap you can buy fish hooks and you, you know all that stuff matches uh matches get the small you may look in your drunk in your junk drawer and find you know the old uh, paper matches where you go to a hotel they don't really do it anymore but uh, if you're somebody of age like i am you may have a drawer full of those little cheap uh paper matchbook matches that'd be something you could give away but yeah you can go and buy the buy the little boxes of the I can't remember the name. Seems like it's Blue Diamond or whatever. Get the cheap matches. And they're small. Again, they'll fit in your little barter kit. Um, let me see. Cheap gloves. People need gloves for when they're chopping wood or setting up a shelter, whatever. People need gloves. Cheap gloves is an excellent barter item. Get the cheapest ones you can find. Oh. Uh, and again, like your first things, like I said, I'll just go over this again. Buy uh, buy items for barter. Buy the brands you don't like. Like I said on this one here. I love sweet tea, but I do not love this brand. So I buy a box of Louisiana and I buy a box of this for my barter stuff. And I've already talked about things you may already have. Got a little something right here. These are not silver coins. These are copper rounds. And they're, I think they're like two or three dollars, uh, you know, but I buy these for bartering. Uh, I keep the silver and the gold and stuff for wealth, uh, you know, main, maintaining your wealth. But these little copper, they're 100% uh, pure copper rounds. And some of them have USA, some of them have uh, COVID-19 survival uh, coin or what, you know. They're different ones, but they're just copper. See that one there's got a Morgan on it. It's a, a copy of a Morgan silver dollar, but uh, they're copper rounds. And, you know, they're, they're fairly inexpensive. You can stack some of these and use these. Uh, if you need to barter for stuff, if you're the one in need, you always have to think about that in too. All right, 
they reckon I'm over it uh, also before I go I know this thing is running really long today really long video but um appreciate all the new subscribers y'all give the channel a like or a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever you think and get in the comments and give me ideas for uh for you know content creators run out of ideas after a while and uh i'm just getting where uh where do you want this channel to go as a viewer you know give me some ideas uh some things some subjects you know i, te I typically stay away from politics and religion uh because i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna let people mess with my joy if that starts to happen i'll just be off youtube for the rest of my life I, don't bother me you know one bit to just cut it off and be done with it but i would like to help people so yeah if you have a subject matter um uh, related to prepping or survival that you'd like me to cover get down there in the comments and uh, let me know about it and uh, you know y'all can be inspirational to me give me ideas on things we could do videos about as well hope y'all having a blessed day uh, this is Ugly Pepper and we appreciate you watching